by the show of hands how many of you would prefer a buffet over an alicate i see so many hungry hands up in the air lunch is going to be soon don't worry but imagine if you can have multiple dishes in the same plate and that's exactly what i'm going to be talking to you all about today good afternoon ladies and gentlemen before i start this journey with you i want each one of you to visualize that you're holding a plate in your hand can i see it okay at this point the plate is empty there's nothing on it but i'll mention this plate during the talk whenever i mention the plate you bring it up with your left hand and you put something on it as i say agreed can we try it plate add perfect that's your workout for today <laughs> let's start our journey we are in a time machine we're going back in time the date is 27th august 2003 i want you to imagine a little boy this boy is 10 years old and he's absolutely fascinated by the night sky just like the one above you and everything about the outer space he just got to know that mars is coming close to the earth is doing a very quick flyby at just 56 million kilometers away and this is the perfect opportunity to watch the planet through a telescope he was all hyped up energized and he was all ready to use the telescope for the first time but unfortunately the observation event was happening all the way in abu dhabi and he was in sharjah he could not make it absolutely disappointed but he never gave up he kept reading about astronomy and space science even when he went to school he kept talking about everything that nasa was doing at that time there was spirit and opportunity rovers on mars he was talking about it not many participated with him but still he was not discouraged he didn't stand back he kept reading reading and reading fast forward to 2010 it's time for the little boy to choose the university major he was now 18 years old he looked for astronomy everywhere in the country not a single university was giving it out the closest one he could find was applied physics a bit away from astronomy but still somewhere close discouraged again he even chose to look at other majors like automotive and mechanical engineering but luckily he had a prep talk with his elder sister and at the end of the talk he made up his mind he was like okay i'll do applied physics i hope some day i'll branch out to astronomy in the future the university was like the universe saying go with it and some day you will pursue the career in astronomy incidentally in the university he had a classmate and that guy was into astronomy too and they put up a proposal to start an amateur astronomers association in sharjah and finally in the spring semester of 2011 they co-founded the astronomy association and he became the vice chairman of the sharjah amateur astronomers association plate please let's add the first dish into the plate vice chairman of sharjah amateur astronomers association at the age of 18 in the same year something really amazing happened he was walking down the hallways of the university looking for a building he couldn't find the building so he found someone and he approached her and he asked lo samahti when mabna mukhtabarat al kimya she was flabbergasted because apparently that was the first time hearing fluent arabic coming from a person who is non arab and this conversation struck him he thought about it if i have an element of surprise in a language i can speak why don't i change it into something bigger so he went home that day he set up a little camera and he recorded himself speaking arabic in 10 different accents and he uploaded that video on youtube now remember the time is 2011 100,000 views in a month today it's not a big deal anybody gets 100,000 views but back in the day especially on youtube it was kind of impossible to reach that landmark he reached 100,000 views overwhelmed he kept making more videos and more videos and he became a youtuber plates please let's add youtuber thank you some of you using your right hand but that's okay <laughs> in the same year another milestone happened he landed his first job it was a part time assignment at sharjah science museum all he had to do was do science demonstrations experiments with the audience and also carry out small little talks in planetarium and also the operation of the planetarium 
So he started the part-time job and his lifestyle changed. Study during the weekdays and work during the weekends. That became his life. Meanwhile, the Astronomy Association is going really well in the university. He found a new interest in that. He found that public speaking about astronomy is better than research. So his inclined interest was towards public speaking and public outreach. Come 2012, the position has now changed from vice chairman to chairman of the association. It was really difficult for him to run everything on his own, by the way. But still, he managed to carry out at least seven events per semester, including quizzes, lectures, presentations, and even stargazing. Speaking of stargazing, he noticed a telescope sitting in one of the labs in the university. He saw it, he kept an eye on it, and then he approached the dean of the college and he asked, can I use the telescope? Multiple attempts, multiple attempts. Finally, the dean of the college said, fine, take it, and you can use it for the Astronomy Association. That was his first time using a professional telescope. He saw the moon up close, like Galileo, how he did back in the day. He also saw the planet Platon, which is the planet with the rings. Saturn was the best object he saw because of the rings. That blew his mind. Truth to be revealed, he wanted to own that telescope someday in his life, so it opens up a new window into the universe. Everything was running smoothly, events were going well, but due to financial restrictions, he had to choose to part ways from the association and the university. In 2013, he dropped out of the university, walking into the real world, carrying the same passion for astronomy, but looking for better opportunities. He even said bye-bye to the telescope and kept it back in the lab in the university where it was initially housed. Goodbye, telescope. It's 2014 now. The world is his oyster. He asked himself, if I can't sit in front of a camera and make a video and publish it in a public platform like YouTube, why not do it in front of a professional camera? He went ahead, auditioned for a TV commercial for Kumar Restaurant, and he landed the lead role. It's not a real mustache, by the way. <laughs> now we can take the plate out again. We can add actor. The acting career was going well after he was invited to Lebanon to attend a show hosted by Malik al Maktabi. The show's name was Ahmar bil Khattal Arid. He was asked to perform in front of a live audience. That was really good. And on the way back from Lebanon, another passion was triggered a passion that was inspired by George Carlin and Russell Peters. What is that? Stand up comedy. Do you know that stand-up comedy is one of the most difficult jobs in the world? You have to literally go to the audience, tickle their funny bone, make them laugh. You can't force them to laugh, but you have to make them laugh. Nonetheless, he talked to the local comedy clubs, and he signed up for short gigs of five minutes, and then 10 minutes, and then 20 minutes, eventually landing long events of four hours, being an MC and a stand-up comedian at the same time. Plates out, please. Stand-up comedian. Is it getting heavy? Deal with it. Now, the acting, stand-up comedy, uh, YouTuber, everything is going really well. But one thing was missing. Astronomy and space science was not getting enough attention. In 2014, it was the acting career was stepping up. But in 2015, incidentally, the university was he studying in launched a space academy. He went ahead, signed up for the interview, and walked right into the interview room. And there he is, his ex-professor. And the first question was, where remote telescope al Muhtabar? Where is the remote of the telescope you put in the lab? <laughs> what a nice breaker to your interview. He landed the job a few days later. The job is planetarium show host and scientific guide. It's a long name, I know, at least two kilograms. Put it in there. That was a job, but for him, it was not really a job. Is it really a job if you wake up in the morning? Looking forward to do something you love. It's not a job anymore. It's a passion that gives you money. That's what astronomy and space science was for him. Now we walk to 2019. A beautiful year, 2019. 22nd of June, 7 a.m. in the morning. He wakes up from his sleep, looks at his phone, Instagram. There is a message from a verified account. Ahmed Zain al-Hashmi an Emirati film director, and the message read, are you available to act in my upcoming film? What's going to be the answer? He said yes. 
And the movie was Bita Kullu. It released later that year. And that was his first time looking at himself on the big screen. I know we added actor to the plate, right? I think we should act one thing more. Movie actor. Please add it. It feels so good to hear that. It has a better ring to it. And now we are in 2020. A lot of our lives changed drastically. Even his life changed. His father breathes his last. And now the family business is on him. He had to learn the business in three months. Overwhelming. Very tensed. But he managed to do it because it was an opportunity for him to add another element into that plate. Entrepreneur. After a successful stint as an entrepreneur, now he decides something else. Let's monetize something. Let's monetize our creativity. How do we do it? I'm already making videos on YouTube. I'm posting on Instagram everywhere. Why not turn it into something that brings in revenue? So he started collaborating with big brands. It's Salat, Do, Boutim, Microsoft, and so many more. But how? Create scripts, produce the videos, and add the element of advertisement in it, and post it for the ads. And now it's time for us to add the final dish into that plate. Creative digital marketing content creator. How heavy is the plate? That was the last one. Now, this was a short but briefly summarized story of none other than yours truly. <clears throat> Fast forward to today. I can guarantee you something. Everything that I've tried in my life, everything that I've put myself through, was out of pure passion. And that's why I had zero pressure on myself, which means having zero pressure and being fully passionate opens multiple doors for your creativity. Let's look at the plate. Astronomer, YouTuber, actor, movie actor, entrepreneur, stand-up comedian, and a host for a planetarium, including digital marketing content creation. All these, all these are passions. And I strongly believe if you have passion, don't just stick with one. Chase all your passions. Multiple passions may be simultaneously at the same time. And never stick with one. Just as you never put all your eggs in one. Exactly. Never put all your eggs in one basket. Before I go, before I go, remember that 8-inch LX200 GPS telescope that was sitting in the lab in the university? It's not in the lab anymore. <laughs> Just for information, I did not steal it. It's mine. <laughs> Thank you, everybody.